Enjoy this video from back when I worked at Erewhon as I tell you about the most unhinged regular that we ever had. Her and I actually became friends. She liked me because I just made sure that I memorized her order by heart and whenever she'd walk into the room, I would just start making it before she even got up to order. Just to spare everyone the trauma and especially the newbies who would get screamed at if they messed it up, she would get an iced matcha no ice blended in the physical blender not shaken or stirred one and a half tablespoons of honey exactly cinnamon raw almond milk with an eight ounce cup of coconut milk on the side she would also request an extra four cups filled with pebble ice not the regular ice pebble ice from the back so she'd pour the iceless matcha into the four cups of ice and then put the coconut milk in those two she wanted to do that herself i don't know why she wouldn't just have us do that maybe she wanted to control the ratio she also felt like she was getting four drinks for the price of one that way which i guess whatever she always wanted a turmeric ginger shot also but not just any turmeric ginger shot she wanted us to start with hot water so that we could dissolve some marine collagen a very specific brand we'd have to go get from the back whisk it we would put turmeric ginger four drops of oregano black pepper to activate on top she was also the type to keep track of every penny and because this order was so complicated with so many add-ons the cashiers would have a really hard time ringing it up and they would ring it up in different ways so the price would kind of fluctuate for her which i get is frustrating but when it was different by like 60 cents she would have a complete freak out and multiple times i literally saw her crying over it like lady this is a 65 dollar coffee order that you get every single morning and you're crying over 67 cents difference it's just crazy Someone do the math on how much that is per year. Oh, and you best believe she would never, ever, ever leave a single dollar of a tip for any of us. Needless to say, this order and this customer are forever burned in my memory, and I do not miss working at Air One. And right away, Katie's out of the seatbelt, blocks the seatbelt escape of Miranda, and immediately goes to... The seatbelt choke. It's a seatbelt Ezekiel it's choke. Be over. I don't know. Miranda's trying to escape yep. here. She's got the seatbelt. Now she's giving up a little bit of a position here, but she is protecting her neck. Now Katie, the power lifter, is on top of her, World squeezing. Champ. Holy smokes, Mark. Look at the confidence in her face. Going for the finish here. Ladies and Dominating gentlemen, superstar. what this looks like is a murder in progress. Katie on top of Miranda Ray making a big statement today at Car Jitsu Championship. It's tight. Wow. Miranda Ray is hard to kill, but she is in a horrible position. He's fighting, Mark. girl. Holy smokes. All the way around the throat with the seatbelt. Her seat face belt. is as orange as her head. Is the earth round or flat? Earth's flat. Do you think the earth is round or flat? I know we didn't go to the moon. We didn't go to the moon? No, we didn't go to the moon. Why, why do you say that? Because you can't get out of the atmosphere. Round or flat? I'm, I'm not really sure. You're not sure? Could be flat? Could be. Earth round or flat? Well, you know the answer to that. Can you what? tell me what you think? Please just answer me, please. No, 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 because I want to know. Tell me. Cause, you know, I believe the Earth is round. From NASA pictures, right? Yeah. Okay. And you, you know of CH, CGI, right? I've heard of CGI, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I believe in the Bible in Genesis under the dome. It plainly tells you there, under firmament, dome. So it's, you know, as flat as a pancake. Oh, honey, I am so not threatened by you. My man wouldn't touch you with a 10-foot pole. You're just mad because I have a Chad. And last time I checked, you don't have a man. So looks like you're the one that's panini pressed. Call a spade a spade, honey. Keep making content. This is because I don't want to give my life to Jesus. You're screaming at me, but you're keeping a distance. Is that all you got? Why are you running up on me, bro? Is it? Why are you running up? Is that all you got? Why are you running up? Is that all you got? Why are you running up? Is that all you got? Well, because I said I don't want to give my life to Jesus. Is that all you've got? Get a job. Is that all you got? Is that all you got? I'll fucking record you. Oh, you're turning her away? Bro. What? Bro. What? Bro. What? Why are you shaking? 
Because I'm a Nick addict. <laughs> I can yeah. tell. Yeah. Keep walking. Why are you Keep following fucking me? walking. Whoa, why are you following me? Because I'm pissed I'm gonna, off. I'm going to bust two Fs. In so I just went for a run, did some workouts, some push-ups. I'm just pulling back my foreskin and I'm just waving my hummus cannon around. That shroom. I'm sniffing. And there's a very subtle pheromonal primal secretion of apocrine pheromones underneath the foreskin and from the sides of the glands and the, uh, what's it called, the scrotal sac. And it's really interesting because in ancient Sparta, the men were constantly working out with their foreskins forward. They would wear this little thing called a kynodesme, K-Y-N-O-D-E-S-M-E, which in English means dog tie. And it was a string to tie their foreskin forward. And then the foreskin underneath would get very, very sweaty during the workout, during the naked wrestling, etc. And then they would go and shower together and they would pull back their foreskins. And you get this very rank, primal, masculine, pheromonal release from all of the mushrooms in the bathhouse after they wrestled naked in the gymnasium. Gymnos means place of male undress. And so I find it really interesting. Men are really missing out on that aspect. Like there are, you know, hockey dudes who get naked, they pull back their foreskins and they'll shoot their hummus onto a cookie, but it's always done in the dark in a sense of like in shame and, and secrecy. Let's bring these rituals back into the light, back into the sun. Let's get those mushrooms out and sniff, sniff, sniff and bring in 5D, right? We need to activate the pheromones into the olfactory sense. Just keep it flying. Keep it flying? And, and why do you want to keep it flying? Why do you want to, why would anybody want to erase our heritage? Well, some people would say that that flag symbolizes uh, racism, it symbolizes slavery, um, and they might have some valid points there. Uh, that's their opinion, you know, they're welcome to their opinion if they want it. Are you, are you pro-slavery or against slavery? I have no comment, but thank you for the interview. I'll give you one more chance, you're, you're pro, pro, pro or anti-slavery. No comment. I, well, I'll give you one more opportunity to say if you're pro or anti-slavery. No, I don't, no comment. All right. Well, there you have it. No, no comment on the uh, if you're in favor of slavery or not. I put an air tag inside of a McDonald's cheeseburger, covered it in the epoxy resin, and put it somewhere no one will ever find it but me. I dug a deep hole in the forest, placed a wooden box inside, and sealed it with a generous helping of white cock. Then I assembled a time capsule inside of a waterproof box to commemorate the end of my time here. It consisted of some drawings my kids made, cutouts of their hands and feet, newspapers to mark the date, a bottle of Johnny Walker Green Label, Orion beer and a Red Bull, a gold watch, Bitcoin cold wallet, five mint condition neo-Roman triumvirates, immunity for the next pandemic, a family journal of letters we wrote to our future selves along with some predictions for the future, a sound recorder, a bottled fart, two Don Doroteo cigars, and finally, the immortal cheeseburger. Praise be. I latched the case shut, slapped a little more white cock on the box, slid the case inside, nailed the lid on tight, buried it, stomped it down for good measure, and then planted a baby olive tree on top. Follow for part two in ten years. One too. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Holy shit. Huh? Excuse me, sir. Who, who, who? Chat, who is he? 
Soccer. He has two watches on. Soccer? Yeah, he's soccer. They're saying, whoa, Nunez. No way. Bro is a famous soccer player. <laughs> The next match we have. Hey, I, hey, I guess, uh, I guess that Desley uh, took a uh, 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 Capus out. I guess he bared in mind. Get it? Bared. You know, th th this is your first time commentating. There's one. There's, there's one thing I'm gonna let you know and everyone else. Please do not touch me, like ever. Okay. Like, no. Like, actually, no. Like, nah. Do, do not touch me like that. Okay, I was just trying to make sure that we were cool, like we're friends. We just met! Okay. Catherine, I caught you once again cheating on me. All I want is my clothes and I will leave. May I please have my clothing items so I can get the hell out of the house? I asked you to leave anyway. I am leaving. Can I please have my clothes? You can come back later. No, I'm not coming back. Well, then you can call My clothes back. are right there. All I need is the things in the dryer. That's it, and I'm out of here. Can you please move out of the way so I can get my clothes and I will leave? You can call the cops. So that you can be with Michael. You can call the cops. I don't want to call the cops. I just want my clothes and I will leave. Okay. May I please have my clothes? No. Why? Why can't you just go be with him? Why do you have to string me along and pretend like you don't like the guy? After the shit that I just read? Just let me go, Kate. Be with him. He's right there. I'm over it, man. I'm done being punked. Just let... You can keep everything. Let me have my clothes so I can leave. And that's it. I you won't can bother you. recording down. No, I'm not. Because this is... I have to. Then you can because call the cops. everything that you say is a lie. Then you can Just call like the how cops. you and Michael are done. He's uncircumcised. You can call the cops. Okay. I, 